We have a nutritionist, Tiara, with us here today. I've tried a lot of different dieting, but my weight just jumps up. If I don't eat, I cannot sleep. Recently just started drinking coffee because I'm sleep deprived. Coffee is not considered a breakfast. Vegetables or fruits? I hate <laughs> both. Which Ooh. one? I would say Damn it! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we're starting this episode with a shot, which usually is shot. only what Jared does. Yeah. <laughs> but then he brands his own by Santori, so you're taking a Santori shot. I love Santori. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. It is? Yeah. yeah. For good time, make it Santori Just. time. Why are we at different stages of opening it? Yeah, do we have to let ah. them hear or not? The ASMR. Ooh. Oh, no, it's not. It's me. It's not like chicken Sorry. soup. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. 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 Cheers, everybody. Oh, okay, Dan, are you stressed? I am actually. Edison, are you stressed? Yes. Jared, are you stressed? So stressed. That's why we have a special guest today. <laughs> <laughs> we have a nutritionist, Tiara, with us here today to help with that. Welcome to welcome. the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So together with brands, um, we hope to understand and find better ways to cope with stress and fatigue through the most Singaporean way possible. La. <laughs> Eating. Yes. Your meal, your meal. Yo, 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 yo. 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 Okay, 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 nice. So I think we can start off with, maybe you can introduce yourself a bit. Yes, yeah. I'd love to. So I'm a nutritionist. I work with adults to improve the way that they eat. I spend a lot of time getting to know the client, their food preferences, their lifestyle, how active they are. Are they training for a marathon? Right. Are they just looking to build muscle? Mm -hmm. And from there, I would create a personalized plan that's realistic and achievable for that particular individual. What if their lifestyle or like their job involves things that are not very nutritionally friendly? Like for example, if they, they work in a job that in, they have to drink every Friday because they're, they're meeting clients and things like that, do you actually tailor the, the, the plan around that? Yes, definitely. That's part of the lifestyle questions that I ask is, how much do you drink every weekend? Right. Oh, what no. do you like to drink? <laughs> um, okay. Are you working from home or are you working in an office? Do you have time to cook? Most of my clients actually don't cook at all okay. and manage to see results. Mm -hmm. It's really about knowing what to order at restaurants, knowing where to take out your food. Um, so it's very, very personalized, the plan that I make for each client. Okay, so it's very friendly in that sense. It doesn't feel as though I'm speaking to a doctor who's gonna say, don't eat this, don't eat this, you can only eat boiled chicken breast for a year. <laughs> yes, it's a very okay. unrestrictive method of eating healthy. Um, I think that's a common misconception is that you have to have a strict diet to see results. Mm. You actually don't really need to be eating as strict as you want if you're generally healthy. Obviously, if you have a diagnosis of some sort, you have yeah. to be a little bit more strict. Of course. Now, I'm actually very curious about it because I think it's quite a common knowledge on the show that I am quite the drinker. Oh. And so he really is. Yeah. So, oh. so I understand that one can of beer alone has is packed with tons of calories, hundreds of calories and offers zero nutritional value. And then yep. say I drink three of those in one night. Ooh. <laughs> that was a concern. <laughs> Ooh. I can't really see how like from a nutrition standpoint, I can still save the day. That's a common uh, common thought, actually. You don't have to cut out alcohol completely to achieve results. I would be concerned if you were having 10 beers every weekend. <laughs> Are you no, having you, 10 you beers? You should see the size of the cans. Oh, so one yeah, liter yeah, yeah. can. No, but can you share the way she said? Are, are you having 10 beers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One can is like a liter, right? Like one liter. So he's one having liter. six, you know, three liters of beer. No, 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 no. Night. 1. no. 1.5 liters. Okay, good for you, man. <laughs> and today yeah. is Friday. It gets worse. Oh, no. oh. Yeah. And the other thing we have to look at is how much you're working out. Six days a week. Six days a week, that's really good. So it, that's it's nice. possible to kind of like counterbalance your bad habits with exercise? Yes. Yeah, in therapy. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how involved are you in the fitness aspect of things? Quite involved. I'd say the fitness aspect is probably covers 50% of importance. I like to advise based on how much you're eating, based on the exercises that you like to do, whether you prefer low impact or high impact. I'd also create an exercise regime for them. Ooh. Even also recommend studios you could go to or gyms you could go to in Singapore. Essentially, I give a lot of resources to clients so they don't have to do much of the thinking. Like here's a list that you could choose from. Yeah. These are the records, like the instructors that I recommend from these, these studios. I think that there are a lot of people that care a lot about calories. Like for me personally, my first step towards, um, I think being more mindful about nutrition is observing my calorie intake. Yeah, it's a good start. Yeah. Um, Cause 
the only way for you to lose weight is if you are in a calorie deficit, meaning that you have to burn more calories than you consume. Yeah, I mean, I've tried a lot of uh, different dieting methods, but the, I think the one that I've landed on and I, I continue to live by is uh, calories in, calories out, mm. which is basically like you can eat whatever you want. Uh, <laughs> if you, no, but as long as you- You're in a deficit. In a deficit. So if you want to eat McDonald's today, my double McSpicy meal is 1,400 calories. And if my basal, basal metabolic. metabolic rate, right, is like 2,000, then the rest of the meals just had to be 600. But I'm mm. wondering if that's there's any like downsides to that because there have been times where I, you know, I track to the number, but there are times where my weight just jumps up also. Mm. So I'm just wondering like, why? So with the calories in, calories out method, it's a very simplified view of getting results. It's the easiest way towards losing weight in the short term, but long term wise, it might not be something that you could keep off the weight, which it seems like something you're struggling with is keeping the weight off. You are not satiating yourself enough or giving the fueling yourself the right way to be able to put in 110% at the gym, for example, right. to give you energy when you are just walking around the office or maybe you're um, you know, looking to go for a walk. So I would say your energy levels would have to be in a really good place for you to be able to sustain your weight loss for a long period of time, but also just work efficiently and function properly during the day at work. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so after you've already given them the advice or whatever, and, you're, and you're trying to guide them through it already, where do they fall short most of the time? It's consistency. Ah. It's being able to do it for not only a couple of weeks, oh, but many lives. years. Oh, yes. oh okay. Yes. yes. That's, that's a challenge, right? Like two months, I still like. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two Look, years. Mm. From what I'm hearing, it's not really a strict diet that you're giving them. So where's the where's the difficulty in remaining consistent? A lot of the times is with work schedule. If they need to entertain clients, for example, or they need to travel for work or for holiday, um, there's a lot of switching gears needed. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where a lot of people struggle with. At the end of the day, creating new eating habits is hard. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna happen overnight, mm -hmm. which is why I talk to my clients once a week so I can check in with them, you know, mm -hmm. basically assess like, hey, what were your challenges this week? It's really um, a dialogue and a discussion versus like, okay, this is what you should eat. This is what you shouldn't eat. I think that a lot of Singaporeans, I guess can relate also because personally, I think food options or like at least the affordable food options here are not like say the healthiest or so, right? And I'm, I'm curious to know like how diet plays a part in in how we feel, Ooh. you know what I mean? Like because I, I think a lot of us, we complain about like, yeah, work make us stress and all this kind of thing, right? But I do think that, I think like, I'm guessing that in some way the food also plays a part. Absolutely, yeah. yes. It does? Yes. Okay, I'm right guys. <laughs> but can you help me explain how? Yeah, how? So I can tell people how. <laughs> The short term effects you could almost feel immediately after you have a meal that is, for example, very fried or very processed. Hmm. Not sure if any of you guys have ever felt really sleepy after lunch. Food yeah. coma. Yeah. Food yeah. coma, essentially. Yeah. The post-lunch slump, have I'll you guys ever felt that? Have, yeah. but I also have this thing where I, if I don't eat, I cannot sleep <laughs> at night. <laughs> so like, sure. for, for example, like two days ago, right? At, 12 a.m. So I was like preparing to sleep already, but I cannot sleep because I'm so hungry. Like I feel like empty inside. So I went to make like a, a sandwich with two breads and honey. Then after I eat that, right, then I became more hungry. So I ate a cup noodles. Oh. Then I felt very full that I went and I had a great sleep. Can I ask whether you were skipping <laughs> any meals during the, the day? Do you skip no. breakfast or lunch? <laughs> Actually, I eat a lunch, a hearty lunch. <laughs> and then I eat a hearty dinner. Sounds like a great eight. day. Yeah. yeah. And then I sleep at 12, but then I couldn't sleep. So, I <laughs> so four meals a day. <laughs> la. No, but Three. I think uh, no breakfast. Even though I like try to drink water, you know, make, make myself full, right? I still don't feel satisfied. That's a yeah. big signal that you're not having enough food earlier in the day. Oh, so oh, it means I have to eat breakfast. You Don't make do. it sound so bad. <laughs> Wait, you do. I since like that's a, a, your body telling you that you need to eat in the morning. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, right? Yes, that's what they say. That's, is it? that's it what they is. say. It's the thing. Yeah, it right? is. I but, totally but I agree. But I cannot eat in the morning. <laughs> like, how do you yeah. make yourself like eat breakfast, right, when you have no appetite in the morning? Well, <laughs> I recommend making a breakfast that you're excited to eat. 
That's one. Malay <laughs> nama. <laughs> chan chan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great advice. But, yeah. Is it because I drink coffee? Do you think coffee affects appetite? Because yeah. I usually have to start the day with coffee. Caffeine is an appetite suppressant. Oh. So that could be one of the reasons why you're not feeling hungry. Having caffeine on an empty stomach, you'll get an energy rush. And then a couple of hours later, you'll feel really tired, a crash, which is a signal that you might need more caffeine, but you actually don't. You just mm. need food. <laughs> I recently just started drinking coffee because, like, I'm sleep deprived, new, 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 new parenthood and stuff. Congrats. And so, thank you. Um, <laughs> I read that it was important if you do take caffeine to wait like one and a half hours after waking up. I'm not sure if you've seen that same research or if, if that's true in oh. your point of view. So coffee is very acidic. Okay. So I would always recommend drinking coffee after you have breakfast or whatever meal or whatever snack. Right. Um, uh, not only, <laughs> <laughs> your first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And coffee is not um, considered a breakfast, by the way. I have a lot of clients that say, oh yeah, I did have breakfast this morning. Yeah, I had a coffee. That is not a breakfast, right. does not you count. Okay. Um, so yeah, the acidity for coffee is an issue for some people who have acid reflux or GERD. Yeah. Um, but also drinking coffee on an empty stomach will make you a lot more jittery. Oh. And, and it's food. a diuretic. Yes. Is that the word? Yep. Yeah, diuretic. Diuretic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So definitely, if you do have to take coffee after breakfast yes. or after a meal. But I wanted but, to go back hmm. to, to earlier. So like we were talking about foods that could make you feel a certain way. So like fried foods might make you slumpy. Like is there any other like um, foods that could affect your mood? Yes. So high sugar foods, highly processed foods, basically everything that comes out of a box is okay. processed oh no. food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would make your glucose essentially spike really fast, which is where you feel a lot of energy. Mm. But what goes up must come down, right? It your Glucose levels will shoot all the way down and that's when you feel really tired, sleepy, brain fog. Mm. So what we really want to aim for is nutritious, wholesome foods in the form of, you know, fruits and vegetables, whole grain carbohydrates. Protein is really great too. And, and what does the ratios look like? Because I think for a long time we've always learned about the food pyramid. And I'm curious, what, what's the ideal ratio now? Because I believe it's like slightly outdated. Yes, so if you imagine your plate and you imagine quarters. Okay. Imagine each quarter having its own food group essentially. Ah, okay, okay. That's an easy way to visualize like it. Different categories per quarter. Yeah. Because I saw, uh, I think I read out on HPB's recommendation. It was like- Dude, uh, this guy with the HPB. La. It was half a half plate veg. of veg and fruits yes. and then- uh, a quarter of protein, proteins and a quarter of uh, carbs. Yes, that's oh. the one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if, 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 if you, it was called, for, no, you break it into quarters, fruit and veg, oh. protein and yeah. carbs. <laughs> so that's the one. That's oh. But it's easier to remember because it's like you just yeah, break it into yeah. quarters. Fruits, veg, yeah, there you carbs. Go. Vegetables or fruits? Like if, if say you have, like <laughs> I hate both. I you hate both. I have to start on one. Ooh. Which one? I would say vegetables. Damn it! Okay. Yeah. 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 I think it's just fruit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know a lot of people who don't eat vegetables, like uh, like like Me. Pet, for example. Okay. But then <laughs> Whoa, the comeback is always I, I eat a lot of fruits. You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> fruit good. Yeah. yeah. I do have a lot of clients who say, you know, I don't like vegetables. I don't like all vegetables. I don't believe that. It's about the preparation in which you prep those vegetables. Yeah. For example, I don't like eating cold salads. Right. I just don't. Yeah. Yeah. I don't okay. like eating the raw leaves, to I'm not be honest. Rabbit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so but there's like, so many ways to incorporate then it. The only way I eat is sambal kangkong then how? You know what I mean? Uh? Like the soup is the oil. Actually, that's, <laughs> a good, that's a good point. Like is cooked vegetables worse than fresh, non-cooked vegetables like, like salad? Of or is it okay? But there's not much of a difference. Okay. I mean, some of the nutrients go into the liquids, but yeah. Drink the liquid. So just drink the liquid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, can I do that? Yeah, you can. But so you can I boil the vegetable. Yes. I boil the vegetable and I just drink the water. You need the fiber though. Also, I can yeah, eat yeah, blooming yeah. onion. That can. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> it's just. You try to push it. You try to push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the juices all in the batter, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got try the fried, <laughs> deep fried cauliflower now, not? Uh, <laughs> jokes, yeah, like fried chicken. But it was the best vegetable. In terms like, of. Oh. If I, <laughs> if I only catch. No, because, like, Pen okay, I assume, right? 
broccoli is the best. Honestly, because when I see every guy who like meal prep, meal prep, they only choose broccoli. It's just like a mini tree. I get this question a lot. What's the best fruit? What's the best vegetable? And the answer is there is no best vegetable or best fruit. You just need to have a variety uh, <laughs> in rainbow. rotation. The rainbow. Yes, we want to eat the rainbow. But I find that in Singapore, like you know, like with our hawker culture and all that, it's especially hard because say I go to a coffee shop, right? And I order a bowl of laksa. That's my lunch. Where can I possibly like fit in that? Fistful of most fruits and vegetables. Price, most yeah. drink shops also sell <laughs> cut fruits in the cup now. Yes. Okay. So lately, I've been feeling like, oh, I need like to take care of myself. <laughs> so how often did you No, I see only Come yesterday. Only <laughs> yesterday after I gym, then I suddenly feel like, okay, I need to like <laughs> take charge of my life a bit. <laughs> so yesterday I ordered like a beef bowl. Then I still thought it was quite unhealthy in general. Mm. So I went to Fair Price to buy a Japanese cucumber. Like just a zucchini. <laughs> like a Japanese cucumber, yeah. then I just cut it and eat it. Cause now the Love TikTok that. trend is like cucumbers, do you yes. know? Yes, Logan's. Like yeah, Logan's, viral, yeah. Cucumber. And then I was like, oh my God, he really impact my life. And then after that, everybody's been doing this cucumber yeah, yeah. thing. <clears throat> it influenced me. But going back to my question, so yeah. is the advice for say, if I'm eating out, right? Do it just add on that? say the cup of fruits from the drink store. Exactly. That's yes. the actionable that people can do, is it? Yes. I mean, 99% of restaurant food will not be according to yeah. my healthy plate. Mm. It's going to be mostly carbohydrates, Pasta. a little bit of protein and a little bit of vegetable. And a right? lot of fat sometimes. Yes. Gari yes, a, yeah. lot of, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sorry. a lot of oils. Yeah. So my advice to all my clients that eat out most of the time is to be very intentional with what you order off of a menu. For example, chicken rice, right? Okay. Instead of taking the roasted chicken, maybe you'd get the steamed chicken, ah. not eat all the rice, ah. add in a side of vegetables. Another example is at Yakun Kaya Toast, actually. I recently saw that they added whole grains, whole grain bread oh. on the menu. Oh, for the toasted Kaya, <laughs> for the kaya yeah. Toast? Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. Did you try it? Yes, I did. And does it hit the same? Yeah, mm. it's perfect. You oh. should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can't tell. Trust me, you can't even tell. I know some branches do this. Not all of the Yakun Kaya toast Ooh. have whole grain oh, wow. on the so menu, but you day. could ask for it maybe. And yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe it's an option. Then how do you thing. notice? I saw the sign actually. I saw the sign. Okay. 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 So on a blind taste test, no one can tell the difference. Yeah. The then yeah, they shouldn't even wouldn't. say anything. They should just be serving like that as the default. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Which is kind of what like the Singapore government trying to do, right? Yeah. They're trying to slowly <laughs> just inch. It's true yeah. because if you go to like In McDonald's now, for example, the default is the less sugar Coke now. Wow. Um, yeah, and a lot of bubble tea brands have completely changed their menu because of Nutri-Grade. Mm -hmm. So I think it is becoming the norm. And like, if we can't encourage, I, we force. <laughs> <laughs> so Nutri-Grade is great for those who just want to glance at a product and make a decision. Okay, does it have high sugar, high saturated fats? Yeah. And I mean, let's be honest, majority of people don't know how to read a nutrition facts label. So this grade really sure. simplifies mm. their decision making. Mm. I love that when you go to cafes now, um, as, for example, I was at Tiong Bauer Bakery, you could actually see each nutri grade for the yeah. type of milk yeah, yeah, that yeah. you choose. So oh. if you want to choose oat, oat milk, milk, full fat dairy, Almond milk, yeah. they all have different grades and that's so helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And black coffee is like A. Eh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they really try to push you there. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the one that shocked me the most was I went for like a Harry Potter experience at, at Sentosa. And so like you, like you walk through the Forbidden Forest kind of thing and then they had a little hut, right? Uh, that sold butter beer. And they, they needed to put the new drink. <laughs> <laughs> it was D. Because oh, no. <laughs> it's so sugary. <laughs> but yeah, no. it was like, we were all just mind blown. Like everyone's forced to put like the yeah. new grade. But now but it's again for, for public benefit. Okay, so we understand that uh, have three meals a day and then what we need to incorporate into those meals ideally so that we sustain like, it helps to sustain our energy levels throughout the day. Yes. Right? But inevitably, sometimes we will still experience like, for example, like, uh, a midday crash or whatever right, in energy, energy levels. Is there something that we can consume or take to help with that? Uh, yeah, like energy drink or what, you know? Energy drinks is a quick fix solution. So is caffeine, right? At some point, there's going to be a crash afterwards. Essence of chicken is a great option that you could carry in your purse. My um, purse? Yeah, <laughs> or your backpack. It's a great supplement, not a replacement for an actual meal, yeah, but there are some foods that you could 
take in between your main meals that'll help with energy. So okay. I personally don't actually understand how this works. Can you explain? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So Essence of Chicken has what we call carnosine, which is a dipeptide found in chickens. A what? A, a <laughs> yeah, what? you're gonna have to go, go <laughs> break it down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. What's a dipeptide? So carnosine is a nutrient that's naturally occurring in our brain, our heart, and our muscles. Ah. It promotes Carnes. cognition, mental clarity, uh, helps with our energy levels as well. Mm. And it does this by two ways. The first way is that it has antioxidant activity, so it protects our bodies against oxidative stress in our cells, okay. which reduces inflammation, reduces overall stress in our body. The second way is that it promotes efficient energy production in our cells as well. So that's how it helps with our energy levels. What is mental yeah. clarity? What do you mean? Like, I just. What is mental clarity? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the last time I had brands, right, was during PSLE period. So, for context, right, I always get F. Okay, on my uh, Chinese me? papers. Mm. E uni. Okay. No, F, like, no amount of tuition could help me. La. Wow. My mom, right, she asked me to drink this. Because I pointed to the bus stop sign, I say like, I need that thing. Yeah, like, always I always have the student. <laughs> I need to be at the A top game. Uh. I only drank brands for the Chinese paper. So I drank, right? And then I got an A. Eh. <laughs> for Chinese, I always get F. Okay, I should I mention- I get A. a if any I <laughs> Mental clarity. Wait, no, it's very important. <laughs> and the reason I'm trying to interrupt is that it's very important that if you're a student watching this, you still have to study. Yeah, I, hey, I did yeah, study. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had mental no, no, clarity. This is, not going to, yeah, this is not going to save anyone who doesn't yeah. study to go yeah. from F and A. You yeah. still need to do the work. Thing. Yeah, so the last time yeah. I had mental clarity. <laughs> the last time you had mental clarity was saying, wow, when you stop taking it so <laughs> So I always associated brands, right, or chicken essence with primary school only. Like I always think it's for kids or either like old people. Oh, it's not, not for like working adults. <laughs> yeah, because I, like, I yeah. thought like we would have enough yeah. energy to sustain already or my brain is already oh, developed. Okay, okay, okay. Not I only see, when as I a see. child, when I'm like underdeveloped, like, as, a, <laughs> as a old person, I need sustenance, right? Yeah, 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 then yeah. I take it. So like I didn't know we have to take it, like we can take it now. Tiara mentioned that like we have carnosine in our body, right? It, it naturally produces it, right? In the brain. Um, it actually declines with age. That's oh. true. Meaning that as you get older, you actually need to take more carnosine to supplement that? Yes. Oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Interesting, interesting. So similar to Alison, but the, the difference is that I was taking brands quite consistently almost every day. Mm. And like the results also showed, la, like I, I scored A's. This and guy. I've always wondered whether it was attributed to brands or now I know like the carnosine in brands or was it like everything else and whether there were research that kind of backs that up. So one of these actually contains roughly one chicken breast worth of carnosine. Oh, okay. Oh, that's but quite a lot. Plus or minus a couple yeah. based on the way that the chicken is cooked. Of course. There have been studies done that compare people who take one bottle of this for 10 days straight versus those who do not. Okay. And the group that takes this for 10 days straight has better reaction times, better performance, mm. better ah. energy okay. in general. So it did contribute, okay. I used to take brands actually at night. Is there a recommended time to actually take it? So, brands recommends that you actually take it in the morning. Oh. Yeah, so that the effects can last throughout the day. That makes so much sense. Okay. And Start, better news for you okay. is that it's not limited to one a day. Ha! Yeah, you can actually <laughs> drink more than one. But Wait, it depends on the individual. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. There's this funny story that we found, right? <laughs> and it's about um, migratory birds. Migratory. <laughs> Migratory. My, my, I think migratory. Well, I, I think my, uh, migratory. <laughs> migratory. How do you pronounce this word? Like my, Jeez. Pelican. Great. <coughs> okay, birds that migrate. Okay? Yeah, um, <laughs> so birds that migrate, they can fly continuously for about 11,000 kilometers in nine days without rest from this particular group from Alaska to New Zealand. Okay. And like, they barely need to replenish during the journey. They do not get lost. Okay. <laughs> and mental clarity. Mental clarity. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the keys to this endurance lies in the abundance of carnosine that is in their bodies. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was waiting to see where it <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So we have to eat that bird. <laughs> <laughs> Very Asian. Very good. <laughs> 
We need to find these damn birds. Maybe that's the bird that they're making. Yeah, or you can drink it as a It is cheaper and more accessible to get a brand's essence of chicken from the supermarket. All right, and that's it for today's episode. I think we've all learned a lot more about brands. And speaking of brands, this episode was sponsored by them. And they just want to shout out that they have a new formula, brand new since 2023. I can attest to this. So like when I used it as a child, I remember I love it so much, but the contract was that I was going to spend the entire day with chicken bread. Cause it was very, very, <laughs> like, it was very, very strong. But now when I take it, right, like no more. Like, it's a I lot drink lighter. It, yeah, yeah, it's very, very light. It's very, very tasty. And I think it's still the same amount of benefits. Mm. So very short. Yeah, so drink more BC in the morning to restore your energy and improve your mental clarity. And we just like to thank Tiara Woo! for answering all our questions and giving us more insights. Amazing. And for more information, you can visit the links below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I actually heard that the skin itself is not unhealthy. <laughs> it's the fat, layer of fat under the skin. And if you actually remove the fat, right, the wow. skin is actually okay. But <laughs> it's so, so actually roasted chicken from the chicken rice store is better. No, no. steam. Oh, no, the steam one, the skin, right? Remove, remove skin no, either way. No, if you eat both skin and chicken uh -huh. together, uh -huh. the roaster is better because it's so roasted, right? The fats drip out already. It's true, and the skin dinner. is just skin. Yo. Oh. You know the fat that you just said dissolve is now all over, over the chicken no, and absorbed into the chicken. No, it drips down. They hang the chicken. That's a good way of thinking about it. But Dan also has, Dan is That's also cool. right on this part. Mm. The way that I see roasted is that it absorbs a lot of oils. Ah, no wonder nice.